Hello, everybody. Today we're going to be playing an educational game called The Day the Earth Shook. It's a game that was made with the intention of teaching children what to do in case of an earthquake. So, uh, I'm expecting some good old-fashioned fun here, so let's just d div on right into it. We're gonna div into it. Divvy. Here we go. The Day the Earth Shook. Welcome to Disasterville. Yep. There's, uh, the towns is called Disasterville. Alright, so, yeah, we got earthquakes, we got aliens. Okay. Well, unexpected, but here we go. Alright, we're gonna be the bitch. May Jill Irwin is happily playing in her backyard, unaware of the danger that lurks beneath her very feet. Look at her two trees. Those are some nice trees she's got there. And what is she even doing with that basketball? She's just like hovering it in the air. There's no basketball hoop. What a boring child. Majil Irwin. Whoosh! No, whoosh! Whoa! Suddenly she spots a glowing disc hurtling towards her at hypersonic speed! Holy shit, this game is getting exciting. Hold on to your pants, folks. Bam! The large disc comes to a sudden stop overhead, and a mysterious vehicle descends from it on a beam of light. You're from outer space, aren't you? Yes, I am Zorg, from Planet Zaxxon. You are in great danger. I have been sent here on a vital mission to ensure your survival. Aw oh, man, they're friendly aliens. Who knew, folks? Who knew there were friendly aliens out there? There's little time. Quickly, put on these virtual reality glasses. We must begin your training. All right, let's let's get. All right, I'm done with this. Let's get to the fucking game. I'm. Oh, there's gonna be an earthquake. Forgot about that part. The alien knows there's gonna be an earthquake, and I guess he's helping the little girl prepare. No, okay. Uh oh. It's a whole new world for us guys. It's gonna take some getting used to. I'm using wacid. Alright. I'm moving, but I can't all right. Whoa! I got an award just for fucking moving. Holy shit. This game is amazing. Go into the house and find the fire extinguisher. Sounds easy enough. Hmm. Alright, first question, why am I wearing a virtual reality helmet? What was, what's the point of this? Like, why? I mean, I'm just walking around. Well, fuck the mission at hand. I'm gonna see what this bitch's got in her backyard. She's got some bushes. And, uh, some trees. That. A bench. And that's about it. This game is off to a very good start, I should say. What? What? Thank you, Spaceman. You, m you know my house in and out for some strange reason. Hmm. Could this be the laundry room? Alright, alright. He wants me to grab the fire extinguisher. He wants me to be prepared because some serious shit's gonna go down. I'm, I, I guarantee you there's gonna be some mighty fine earthquake action. And I guess some alien action. There's gonna be like a war breaking out. I don't know. Here we go. Got it in my backpack. Do you have an emergency preparedness kit back at home? This is not what? good. Uh oh. You need to go and tie them to your tail to an emergency. Hear that, kids? Alright. Remember, kids. Always have an emer a giant purple emergency preparedness kit in your laundry room filled with stuff to help you just in case an earthquake Looks happens. You can never be too prepared, folks. Especially especially when there's an alien helping you out with uh, virtual reality. For some reason. What is he doing? Why? Why does he have that on my head? What is the purpose of this? Whatever. Ooh, a flashlight 
Oh boy, that's what I need. Thanks, pal. Man, what a friend. After this, we can be like, oh, best friends, like an E.T. We can just talk about girl stuff. I want to play the basketball. I want to play the basketball, not with you, robot. Holy shit, this guy thinks of everything. Thanks a lot. Wait a minute, do we even know this guy's name? We have to name him. Oh, wait, no, 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 we do know his name. I, I fucking forget it, though. I I guess when I'm editing the video, I can go back and check. I don't remember it now. So for now, I'll call him Egbert for now. Egbert for now. Egbert for later. So I'm looking for more shit for my emergency box because... My emergency box can't be empty. Batteries, yeah. Thanks, Egbert. What would I do without Egbert? My family would be fucking dead without this little guy. Man, why does this guy help, like, more kids? Like, in Africa or something. I'm pretty sure my family could be pretty prepared for an earthquake. Why doesn't he go to, like, Africa and stop genocide? He's an alien. He's probably got fucking lasers and shit. He's like, no, nah, I'm gonna help this suburban white kid. With virtual reality, just in case an earthquake happens. What's on the TV? Alright. Get it. What is on the TV? Nothing. I don't know about you guys, this game has got me on the edge of my seat. It's a very strange house these people live in. No doors. It's kind of everything is just mixed together. There are no, no rooms. Maybe it's just not finished. 